All right, we're back. It's 846 with comedian Kathy Griffin. She is set to join E's hit show Fashion Police on January 12th. I'm hosting, honey. Don't Co get it twisted. Me. Hosting. Co-hosting. Hosting. Don't you? Well, let me ask you, Kathy. Is it Savannah? You, is it Savannah? Do, do you or do you not have co-hosts? I have a support panel <laughs> who worship me and will laugh at everything I say, hopefully. Well, it is so exciting to have you on the show, I have I'm to say. And, and Joan Rivers was a very good friend of yours, and you're filling her shoes, and I'm sure that's somewhat bittersweet. She absolutely left big shoes to fill, and I'm bringing my own slippers. And, yeah, as you know, I mean, Joan and I were great pals, and I will continue, if nothing else, in her fearless style of taking no prisoners. Um, but our styles were different, you know? I'm a different human human being. I'm more improvisational and I don't know what I'm going to say and neither does anyone else on the panel. And that's why that 12 second delay they have for you is so, so crucial. I think they bumped it up to about a two minute delay, <laughs> yeah. which you guys might want to consider. <laughs> Actually, they've already pre-written all of your apologies for you. I, I don't apologize. I am like Rihanna, hashtag unapologetic <laughs> and Madonna, all the other Annas. Well, let's talk about this. I mean, you love fashion, right? I really do. But let me just say it straight out. Yeah. You have been on the worst dress list a few times. Many times. So I used to laminate them and and put them on my refrigerator. <laughs> I have gone from the worst dress to the best dress and everything in between. I have been on the other side of the microphone, walking the red carpet at the Emmys or Grammys, and I've also taken hits. So this is all pomp and circumstance. It's ridiculousness. If you can't make fun of the red carpet, what can you make fun of? I know, but the red carpet is so different. I was thinking about it. I mean, remember when celebrities took big risks, like Bjork's like duck dress, yes. remember that? Yeah, oh, there it is. Yes. You never see love stuff it. like that love anymore. Love it. I right? love it. There's a new era. We could not have those share Bob Mackie moments if everyone played it so safe. So I would actually like to encourage the gentlemen and ladies to not play it so safe. I think this could be the year where people take some risks, and I like it. I know, because frankly, all you see is these beautiful celebrities, and you're down to, like, critiquing their clutch. Right, and they're also perfect, and then they all have the perfect black dress. So I actually hope some of the ladies bring the heat for the Globes, and we are on the day after the Globes. We do it, we tape it that morning, and it goes to air a couple of hours later, so they can't mess with me too much or change me or make me better. I'm still going to be very wrong. Now, is there anybody that you really have in mind that you'd like to critique? Is there anybody who's got a bedazzled target on their tan? I was going to I was gonna focus on you, mostly. I, is don't. this a bad time to tell you? I was um, going to, yes. no, but I do, I have been telling a lot of people that they're on the worst dress list site unseen, just to mess with their heads. Like, I've told Ryan Seacrest several times, he's worst dress site unseen unseen. Um, of course, Anderson Cooper. I said, you're going to be worse dressed every week just for fun, even <laughs> if you don't leave your house. But no, I really don't know because every week it's going to change. And I change my mind, believe it or not. One week I might make fun of Gwyneth Paltrow and think she's too goopy. Next week I might goop it up. We'll see. It's, I can't wait. You're always unpredictable. You mentioned Anderson Cooper. Yeah. Good friend of ours around here. Sure. How did you mortify him this year during your New Year's show? I dyed his hair. Really? I, yes, live on the air. I dyed one side blue and one side red. I asked him to close his eyes and trust me for 10 seconds, and he foolishly did. did didn't you get the memo, never touch the hair? Yes, that's, that's why what, I that's did That's what it. Matt Lauer tells me when I co-host with him. Look, let's just talk about Matt Lauer. I mean, he looks like Diane Keaton in a Burberry ad right now. He's an all plaid. He just dyed his hair plaid. How do you put up with him? I don't know, but I, I have to tell you, another thing I heard was that you loved Today the Musical. I am obsessed with Today the Musical. In fact, Anderson Cooper turned me on to it. I've watched it about 47 times. Um, also, I like that Regis is the star, and he's not even on the Today Show. <laughs> so if you have not seen Today the Musical, please, everyone's best dressed, all right? Thank you very much. We were, I just had to give you those last few seconds just to, just to, to plug pay our homage, own musical. Of yes, course. Exactly. Well, we look forward to you on Fashion Please. Next Can't week, wait. Next, the 12th, January 12th. Okay, please ignore all of us. Oh, of course. You're all, you all have a pass. Thank you. I'm going to hold you to that. <laughs> New season of Fashion Police debuts next Monday on E. Thanks. You were nervous saying it. I was. Like fashion, uh, I don't even like you. You don't know what list you're on. I'm you afraid. You can get any list.